You know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh, my goodness. If you could film Esther, me. Esther, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? Dear Tupac, I know you are alive someplace. I think that mommy really misses you. Can you please come back? Can you come back so mommy and me can be happy? I wish you were here. I really do. Love, Willow. What I just read to y'all was a letter written from Willow Smith to Tupac. Tupac was dead before Willow Smith was even born, so they've never even met. So what is Jada Pinkett Smith telling Will Smith's daughter about him and another man that she's been with that makes her believe that if the other man was alive, she and mommy would be happy? It's obvious that Jada Pinkett Smith is the source of manipulation in her family. She manipulated their daughter, obviously, from the letter. She manipulated their son by sleeping with her son's friend. She manipulated her son's friend by sleeping with him in a very vulnerable moment and she's manipulating will smith by getting him to sabotage his career just to prove that he's worthy of her attention doesn't anybody find it a little weird that she said she slept with her son's best friend to help him with his mental health issues while her husband the person she devoted her life to was having his own mental health crisis will smith spent three years and who knows how much money planning his wife's 40th birthday just to prove that he can be just as good of a husband as she would imagine tupac would be and instead of her saying thank you she insulted him and threw it in his face. She sold out her family secrets for content and Facebook ad revenue. Literally in the first clip, Will is begging his wife to stop exposing him in his own home for content and she continues to record and humiliate him while he's obviously visibly uncomfortable. Jada is manipulating Will because she knows that he loves her and would do anything for her approval. If there was a puddle on the ground, Will Smith would get on his knees, stab himself in the chest so that she could walk over his back. Every time he does something extreme to get her approval, she doesn't give it to him and then she throws him under the bus. When it came to the birthday party he spent three years trying to figure out her interest so that he could throw her the biggest birthday party in the world and she says that it's a display of his ego during the oscars when he went up there and slapped a man that he knew for 30 years it's obvious that he did that for jada's approval she didn't give it to him and then she threw him under the bus a few days later she came out and said her husband was in the wrong for slapping chris rock because she's a strong independent woman that doesn't need to be protected by a man and what makes that so ironic is people mostly women mostly women that happen to look like me were defending what will smith did by saying that he did it to protect his wife. This man who gets approval from hundreds of millions of people across the world can't even get the approval of the people in his own home who mean the most to him. In my personal opinion, Will Smith is one of the greatest actors on the planet. And what people don't understand about great actors is over the course of their career, they can try hundreds of different personalities. And if they're really good at it, sometimes they can lose themselves. I personally believe that Will Smith has lost himself and he's trying on different characters to try to find out which one will get Jada's approval. And this is what we deal with a lot in the African-American community. Good dudes trying to prove to ungrateful women that they can be just as hard or just as gangsta as the hood dudes that these women are attracted to. To. Jada Pinkett is a D-list celebrity that wouldn't even be popular if she didn't sell out her family secrets. She is not in love with Will Smith. She's in love with Tupac and the status that Will Smith gives her. If Will Smith was on fire, she wouldn't even pee on him. People weren't mad that Will Smith was trying to defend his wife. Anybody can understand and appreciate that. People were mad that Will Smith tried to defend a person that would never do the same thing for him and has proven that they're willing to throw him under the bus any chance they get. I'm never a huge advocate for divorce, but in this situation, Will Smith needs to get out of his marriage for the sake of his sanity he's sacrificing his career for people that don't even appreciate it and let this be a lesson for all the good dudes dudes that are not thugs dudes that are not gangsters dudes that are just trying to do the right thing if you're doing something for a woman and she doesn't appreciate it and reciprocates the value and shows that she appreciates it then go find somebody that appreciates you and what you do for them till next time my boo, my boo, I'm just here for the rendezvous And I ain't the whole damn bro Cause I've been feeling like you want me to He say stop saying I'm so I can't help myself when I poke up